Elon Musk is considered by many to be the richest person to have ever walked the earth. However, his wealth is almost nothing in comparison to these historical figures. Now, let's see the top 10 richest people of all time. Number 10. William the Conqueror. When your name is Conqueror, you're likely to have serious wealth. William the Conqueror, also known as William the Bastard, born around 1028, became England's first Norman king. His fortune peaked around $230 billion, more than Elon Musk's wealth today. How did he get so rich? Well, as his name suggests, he amassed it through plundering those he conquered. In 1066, he took England by force costing about 100,000 lives. As king, he banned slavery and made French the elite language because he couldn't speak English well. He built over 500 castles across England and Wales, becoming one of its largest landowners ever. Known for his lavish lifestyle, he passed away in 1087, stripped even of his clothes and jewels. According to some genealogists, more than 25% of the English population is also distantly related to him, as are countless Americans with British ancestry. Number 9. Osman Ali Khan Osman Ali Khan, one of the most recent billionaires featured on Time magazine's 1937 cover as the world's richest person, was the last ruler of Hyderabad in India. His immense wealth was legendary, estimated around $236 billion by modern experts. But the Guinness Book of World Records claimed that he was worth $750 billion. He possessed the Jacob Diamond, the fifth largest polished diamond globally, which he famously used as a paperweight in his office. His collection, the Jewels of Nizam, included 173 pieces such as emeralds, pearl-studded necklaces, and a necklace with 465 pearls, valued at approximately $2 billion. However wealthy he was, residing in a grand palace, possessing 50 Rolls-Royce cars, and employing 300 servants, Osman Ali Khan didn't always display his affluence outwardly. He famously wore the same hat for most of his life, ate from a tin plate, and occasionally asked guests for a cigarette. He even knitted his own socks. During his reign, he introduced electricity, airplanes, and railways to the region, and he is said to have fathered 149 children, reaming wealth of his now being litigated by many claimants. Number 8. Nikolai Romanov. Russia has seen its share of wealthy families, with the Romanovs being the most famous. However, their wealth played a part in their tragic end. Nikolai Romanov, the last Tsar of Russia, was estimated to possess around $300 billion. He is widely criticized by modern historians as a weak and ineffectual leader, sentiments he echoed himself, stating, I am not prepared to be a Tsar. I never wanted to be one, and know nothing of the business of ruling. Despite his shortcomings, Nikolai indulged in his wealth. His annual salary was 200,000 rubles, plus an additional 20,000 rubles for personal expenses. Yet, he often exceeded this limit, spending up to 150,000 rubles more. To put it in perspective, factory workers earned just 500 rubles annually, and high-ranking generals earned 5,000 rubles. His discretionary spending was 40 times that of an average worker's yearly earnings. So what did Nikolai Romanov spend all his money on? Pretty much anything he desired. He regularly splurged 20,000 rubles on custom-made clothes and military uniforms. His wife indulged too, spending 40,000 rubles on extravagant jewelry. He loved hosting lavish parties, like pardoning all civil debts and minting 1.5 million medals for the dynasty's 300th anniversary. Nikolai enjoyed extravagant meals and hunting trips as well. His annual hunting budget equaled the salaries of 100 school teachers. The Romanov family owned numerous villas and palaces across Europe and Russia. However, during the Bolshevik Revolution in 1918, all their wealth was seized, and the Tsar, along with his wife, children, and loyal staff members, were tragically murdered. Number 7. Andrew Carnegie When you think of wealthy American families, the Carnegies often come to mind. Andrew Carnegie, a steel magnate, started his career as a telegraph messenger at the age of 13 and rose to a net worth of $309 billion. By age 24, his dedication and attention to detail propelled him to superintendent of the Western Division of Pennsylvania Railroad. Learning from mentors, he invested heavily in railroads during their early expansion. After the Civil War, Carnegie shifted focus to ironworks, founding Keystone Bridge Works and Union Ironworks, and later created Carnegie Steel Company. He sold this enterprise to J.P. Morgan for a staggering $13 billion. Andrew Carnegie's immense wealth was widely recognized, yet he adopted a progressive approach to its use. 
he authored The Gospel of Wealth, advocating for the social responsibility of the wealthy. His famous quote, the man who dies rich dies disgraced, reflected his own philosophy. Carnegie donated approximately $4.8 billion to charities during his lifetime and distributed most of his wealth upon his death. He left only a modest sum to his family, instead favoring substantial bequests to his housekeeper, nurse, main servant, and butler. Number 6. John D. Rockefeller Elon Musk may be the richest American today, but he's far from beating the wealthiest American of all time, John D. Rockefeller. Rockefeller, the famous oil tycoon, had a fortune worth around $400 billion. He was incredibly brilliant with money from an early age. Later on, he founded the Standard Oil Company in 1870, which quickly became incredibly valuable. At its peak, Standard Oil controlled 90% of the oil in the United States, and Rockefeller's wealth was so immense that it equaled 2% of the national economy. His company grew so large that in 1911, the Supreme Court decided it violated antitrust laws and divided it into 34 separate companies. Over the following decade, his net worth increased fivefold. Rockefeller lived a lavish life, owning multiple homes across the country. One of his most notable properties was Kaikut, a 40-room mansion with views of New York City. The house took six years to build and featured collections of Chinese ceramics and 20th-century art. Kaikut was part of the larger Pocantico estate, which spanned 3,510 acres and included 75 houses, 70 roads, a nine-hole reversible golf course, swimming pools, and gardens. Despite not being well-liked by the public, Rockefeller became more philanthropic as he got older, donating 10% of his income to charity every year. Number 5. Mansa Musa With an estimated net worth of $415 billion, Mansa Musa, the first emperor of Mali and king of Timbuktu. In the 14th century, he ruled the Mali and Ghana empires and conquered much of West Africa. Known as the Lord of the Mines, he owned more than half the world's gold supply during a time of skyrocketing demand. He also controlled key trade routes between the West African coast and the Mediterranean. During Mansa Musa's rule, Europe faced severe hardships like the Great Famine, Civil War, and the Black Death, which crippled its kingdoms. Meanwhile, Mali thrived as the world's largest producer of gold and salt, the two most important commodities at the time. Mansa Musa conquered 24 cities and their surrounding areas early in his reign, but he remained largely unknown outside West Africa. This changed when he began his famous journey to Mecca, traveling with a caravan of tens of thousands. In Cairo, he donated and spent so much money that it caused immediate inflation, and the local economy took years to recover. Unfortunately, soon after Mansa Musa's death, the Mali Empire began to decline. Constant civil wars weakened the country, and its trade capabilities diminished. By the 1600s, European cities started invading Mali to exploit its resources, leading to its downfall. Number 4. King Solomon King Solomon, with an estimated net worth of $2.2 trillion, is a biblical legend discussed in the Bible, the Talmud, and the Quran. His father, David, united the tribes of Israel and founded the Judean dynasty. Solomon continued his father's legacy by building up Israel, including constructing Jerusalem's city wall, royal palace, and temples. He invested his immense wealth in numerous construction endeavors, most notably the first temple in Jerusalem, celebrated as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. During Solomon's reign, Israel flourished, but experts believe he hoarded wealth rather than distributing it to the people. He is said to have taken 25 tons of gold in taxes annually, equivalent to $1.6 billion today. Number 3. Augustus Caesar. Julius Caesar might be more famous, but his heir Augustus Caesar was actually incredibly wealthy. Augustus is the confirmed trillionaire in history, owning a fifth of the Roman Empire's wealth, which made up 30% of the world's GDP at the time. Experts estimate his fortune at around $4.3 trillion. Augustus's wealth came from both his position as emperor and inheritance. He inherited 75% of Julius Caesar's wealth, though the exact amount is unknown. Besides Julius, several wealthy families left parts of their estates to Augustus, seeking political favor. During his 40-year reign, Augustus doubled the size of the Roman Empire. He lived in a palace known as the House of Augustus, which featured rooms dedicated to art and weapons, with mosaics on the floors and frescoes on the walls. Augustus Caesar is said to have personally owned the entire country of Egypt. He established a system that kept peace in the Roman Empire for over 200 years. 
However, in his final years, he faced personal struggles. He was deeply affected by the deaths of his beloved grandsons, whom he had hoped to make his heirs. Number 2. Emperor Shenzhen of Song The second wealthiest person in history is the mysterious Emperor Shenzhen of the Song dynasty, who reigned from 1067 to 1085. He had an estimated net worth of over $30 trillion, ruling over an estimated 30% of the world's GDP. His rule coincided with an affluent and prosperous era in China. During this time, China was the world leader in bronze wares, and farmers were allowed to own their property. Rice production soared, making it a staple of the economy and turning China into a commercial superpower. Additionally, gunpowder, printing, and magnetic compasses were invented at that time. The Song Dynasty also introduced the world's first paper money and formed the first navy to defend trade routes, thanks to a highly centralized economy and an advanced tax collection system which also was first invented by him, Shenzhen's wealth reached trillions of dollars. Number 1. Genghis Khan Despite Genghis Khan's reputation for brutal warfare that spread devastation and massacres across Europe, he accumulated wealth equivalent to over $100 trillion. However, given that his campaigns resulted in the deaths of roughly 10% of the world's population within two decades, he might not be the best source for Forbes or any magazine titles. Although he innovated with early forms of bioweapons, his conquests inadvertently contributed to the spread of the bubonic plague, which later killed a quarter of the global population. Despite his immense riches, originally born as Temujin into slavery, Genghis Khan redistributed much of his wealth among his subjects, although he had numerous children with several hundred wives. In total, he conquered more than 12 million square miles of territory, ruling over most of Central Asia and China. Genghis Khan frequently offered neighboring kingdoms an opportunity to peacefully accept Mongol rule, yet he swiftly wielded the sword against any society that chose to resist. He often carried out large-scale massacres of the local populations of the kingdoms he conquered, seizing all their wealth and possessions along with the land's value. This accumulation makes him unquestionably the wealthiest person in history. Legend has it that during his funeral procession, everyone encountered along the way was slaughtered, and horses were ridden over his grave repeatedly to conceal it. His tomb is believed to be somewhere near a Mongolian mountain named Burkhan Khaldun, but its exact location remains a mystery to this day.